Today, I'm at the Institute of Technology of Cambodia here in Phnom Penh. In this video, I want to go around to see what student life is like, as well as speak to the future engineers of Cambodia. So, without further ado, let's jump right into it. Hello. Hey. What is your name? My name is uh, Panet, but you can call me Max. All right, Max. What are you studying here at this university? Uh, I'm studying AI and cybersecurity. So you're the future IT engineer of Cambodia. Yeah. I'll awesome. Say that. Awesome. What made you want to come to this institution? I would say that in terms of engineering as well as degrees as well as uh, the name itself, yeah. this is actually one of the best schools in terms of how you would want to apply the things you learn, the yeah. concepts you have as well as the projects you would like to take on mm. to challenge yourself as well as to actually create new things to help both ourselves as well as society. Sure, sure, sure. And uh, what year are you in? Right I'm now. currently in my third year. Third year? Yeah. Uh, that's all awesome. That's so good to hear too, you know. What do you plan to do after graduation? I'd say work for a couple of years first. I'd say between one to two years and yeah. then I would start my own business. Mm, I see, yeah. I mean, this is a golden age, I feel like, in your field True. to get into it now so that in the future is just smooth sailing for you, hopefully, you know? <laughs> I mean, sure, but there's a lot of business proposals as well as uh, companies targeting AI nowadays, so yeah, I'd say the opportunities are abundant, but mm. it's quite difficult because a lot of people are actually going for it now. True, that is true too, yeah, it could get oversaturated. Why is your English so good? Uh, it's actually my first language. Where are you originally from? I'm f actually from Cambodia, but I started learning English since I was two years old. Oh, yeah. that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. So you know English, Khmer, and you probably know a third one, right? Uh, Japanese and French. Wow. You're quadlingual? Yes. Dude, you have that Khmer brain for real. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> and then, would you recommend anything to future students thinking about coming to this university? I'd say if you are interested in being an engineer, whether or not it's for water supplies, IT, construction, or even chemistry, yeah. I'd say you, would, you should actually try here because there's a lot of opportunities. Yeah. The entrance exam is hard, that's for sure, yeah. but at least we assure that the quality of students would range between capable students and those uh, who are able to actually start their own businesses and become successful. So, I understand. Yeah. All right, makes a lot of sense. Well, I thank you for your time. A really smart and knowledgeable person. I'm so glad I ran into them first, but just take a look at this campus so far. I love when schools have greenery. So you're in the city, you're in this urban area, but having this greenery around you is such a breath of fresh air. What is your name? Uh, Peng Roy. Peng Roy. Yes. And why are you studying at this university? Uh, because this is uh, it's made for technology. We I'm learn sure. technologies. Mm. And uh, there's a mechanical engineering, software engineering, AI cybersecurity. I understand. And what is your major? Uh, software engineering. Cyber engineering? Uh, software. Software? Yes. Oh, software engineering. Yep. Okay. And why did you choose software engineering? Uh, because uh, I want to like cr uh, create something from uh, myself, uh, for, oh. for myself. Okay. That's so cool. What do you do in between classes? Like, well, how do you relax on campus? Uh, you, as you can see, like, there's a lot of trees. So I just usually just sit and watch the nature. It's really relaxing. Yeah. Yep. Especially in Phnom Penh, you yes. need the nature. Yes, we really need the nature. Mm -hmm. well, what are your thoughts of foreigners visiting Cambodia? Uh, as you may know, like uh, Cambodia is not really popular, so uh, most foreigners they don't really know about Cambodia. Yeah. And I'm I'm hoping that uh, we can somehow to what uh, advertise to the world and make them know Cambodia more. Yeah, yeah. Yep. As a foreigner myself, it's not a malicious thought from foreigners. It's just we don't know too much yeah, about Cambodia. Yeah. So again, I hope videos like this helps like promote Cambodia more. Yep. And then last question, would you recommend a future student to come to this university? And if so, uh, what would you want to tell them? Uh, so I, I really recommend them to come to uh, ITC. Uh, it's mm. uh, Institute of Technology of Cambodia. And uh, I, I recommend an uh, international program because we cooperate oh. with uh, our, our partner from another countries. OK, OK. Uh, for me, we, like, we, we cooperate with Curtin uh, Australia. Australia. Curtin. Yes, Curtin, Australia. Oh. And when we finish the first year, we will uh, got two certificates. Well, first from ITC, and the second one, we will get it from Curtin. That is so awesome to hear. Thank you for your information. Yep. You. I appreciate your time. Yep. Have a good day, on. Yes. <laughs> this is why I enjoy making videos like this. You never know who you're going to run into, and you just get to learn a lot of an area, especially from like a local's perspective. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Great. What is your name? My name is uh, Vanne and um, thank you for 
for interviewing me. Yeah, of course. No, thank, thank you for you. having me uh, with you. Can I know you. your name? My name is Mooch. Mooch. Yes, thank yes. Thank you. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Where are you from? America. Oh, what state? Uh, New Jersey. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. First cool. time somebody is asking me questions about me. Yeah. I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for coming to Cambodia. Yeah, of yeah. course. Can you tell me about this institution? Yeah, yeah. So this one is a very, it is, it, uh, to me, just to me, this this university is a top university about technology, mm. engineering, um, and they have a lot of like global cooperation with international uh, partnership. Yeah. And uh, if someone, the student that really want to, um, like advance, yeah, master on the engineering mm -hmm. majors, uh, I would like to recommend this university. That every everything here very professional, and. You know, it's amazing the environment. Yeah, and there's a lot of things for you to to explore here. Yeah. Mm, yeah, understand, understand. What about after graduation? Is there anything you would recommend to a student? Yeah, like after after like here, mo mostly you can do the internships too. Here, mm. it's like after you graduate, you also have some apply for internship programs yeah. here. And some some most of the students they uh, do the uh, I mean like after. after after graduate, they they go like maybe have some contracts if they mm. if they're interested if they they really outstanding, yeah. and then they can do some contract with the the program and any program cooperated with uh, ITC, yeah, and then they can uh, do some uh, scholarship progress and then if the if that done they yeah. can they can go to study in. Uh, uh, any famous university in Hong Kong or uh, more? There's a lot of mm -hmm. you can you can ask from the academic office, and after that, after after they finish, they come back and then they study or teach teaching or working assistant or something here yeah, about yeah, yeah. for maybe two year after you you can go to anywhere you want. Okay, <laughs> that's okay. what I know, but maybe more than what I know. No, to totally understandable. And I have a personal yeah. question: Why is your English so good? My English? Yeah. Really? You think this is good? Yeah, of course. Oh my oh, wow. gosh. A lot of people in Phnom Penh, they speak really good English. I, I used to be um, high school teachers in the uh, province. And then uh, that's, English is my, I love languages. Understand. And um, I used to work with uh, American volunteers too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know preschool, right? Preschool. Peace Corps. Peace Corps. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I've heard of them. Yeah. Oh yeah. wow. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. Oh my God. I'm so yeah. lucky. I got to meet somebody <laughs> famous in yeah. Cambodia. Okay. Yeah. The, um, and and yeah. And what about you? What do you think? No, I, I mean, it just in general, I know you're visiting the campus here too, yeah. but in general, my first impressions in the 10 minutes I've been here, mm -hmm. it seems really nice. The students right. seem to be really engaged with each other mm -hmm. and just, I didn't get to see too much of the stuff, but I'm looking forward to getting to meet more people here. Right, right. Thank you so yeah. much. Yeah. So uh, again, uh, for like, uh, again, I, I would like to talk to uh, every student that just went, that graduated for like uh, to get 12 exam, yeah. they who really want to master their engineering. Uh, again, I recommend this this top university in Cambodia. Okay. This is the, the the state university too. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, and a lot a lot of things they can explore from okay. here. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Thank you for your time. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Be Have high. a good day. You as well. Bye bye. Yeah. All right. So, I got into one of the classrooms. What is your name? Uh, my name is William. And what are you studying here at the university? Uh, architecture. Architecture? Yes. Oh, is that why you have these over here? Yeah, my okay. Okay, wow. Um, why did you choose this institution? Uh, because uh, from my first, when I graduated from grade 12, I chose this uh, institute because uh, it's uh, engineering. Mm. It's all about engineering. How has the experience been so far at the university? I like architecture. I like drawing. Oh, really? Like designing. Yes. Okay. Okay. So it's a little bit hard, but from you, the beginning. Yeah. From the beginning. Yes. But you enjoy drawing and architecture, so now it's a little bit more easy. Yes. Yes. Okay. And your third year right now? Uh, I'm fourth. Your fourth, fourth year. year? Yes. Oh. What is your dream or what is your plan after graduation? Uh, my plan is to become an architecture mm -hmm. interior design. Interior I, design. Yes, I like interior design. Okay. All right. When I come back to Cambodia in like five years, I want to see your project, okay? Yes. <laughs> How about for the future students? Do you recommend anything for future students? Uh, for the future student, I recommend uh, study uh, engineering mm -hmm. uh, because right now in Cambodia, we need a lot of engineering. Understand, yeah. understand. And then I have a, a silly question. Yeah. What is your favorite Cambodian food? My favorite Cambodian food is uh, a frog. 
Frog. Yeah, uh, it's a. Uh, it's called cat bao. Okay. Yeah. You know, actually, I never tried it, so now I have to try it because of you. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Can you show me these little buildings? Project that the uh, it's a project that the teacher yeah uh, gave you, mm. and the teacher also gave that uh, the function that this house have a uh, what eight people, yeah, for okay. providing the family and mm. they need what they need, and you can choose whatever place you want. To, okay. Ah uh, to... <laughs> oh, man. That was that was interesting uh, perspective. Like engineering, it capitalizes so much of our society that it starts from like architecture to anywhere from like software. So, if you're an engineer student, thank you, thank you so much because our modern world really relies on y'all. All right, so we have a special guest. We actually met before in Seam Reap. Yeah. I do TikToks and I interview people. But for the folks watching on YouTube, what is your name? Uh, Lily. Yeah. <laughs> nice to see you again, Lily. <laughs> nice. What are you studying here at this university? Um, I'm industrial engineering and supply chain management. Awesome, yeah. awesome. And why did you choose this major? Um, well, basically, I think the the world is like the industrial revolution is widely known, and we really we're not barely focusing on agriculture anymore. So it's mm. time to change for industrial revolution. So yeah, industry is is really important to improve or develop. So I chose this major. Wow. So you're yeah. thinking ahead, not just for Cambodia, you're thinking yeah. about just everywhere yes. else, right? Wow, that, that's really noble right there. How's campus life for you? How are like the other classmates? How are your instructors? Oh, well, um, basically uh, at ITC, we have two years of foundation year. So the student take the intern exam, then they are, they're together. But then on the third year, they have to separate in each department. Okay. And then um, I, 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 my department is mechanical, mechanical and industrial engineering. So it's not uh, really a lot of female student. Understand. Yeah, and okay. this is my, my final year as a university student. And I'm the only girl in the class. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. That's actually something to be proud about, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. And then what is your dream? What is your goal after graduation? Um, well, I'm, I'm planning to apply for another degree. Mm. Yeah. But basically, I will start um, searching for a job first and then I'll apply for a scholarship. And if I qualify for another scholarship, yeah, I'll push another degree. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. And then, is there any advice you would give to future students thinking about coming to this university? Oh yeah, uh, I think it's a good choice. If you guys really dip into like, um, prefer to go overseas, ITC is the best choice. Mm. I mean, yeah, every student they offer to go abroad, by the scholarship, and then um, at ITC you got more chance to go overseas for yeah. real. Yeah, I, I noticed that there's a lot of like signs in French. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of Japanese. Yeah, and, and then I think some Russian also here. Yeah, I, I think. Um, Actually, I'm in international program. It mm. it offers students to study a semester exchange in France, and I just come back. Whoa! <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's so awesome. <laughs> yeah. Hey, if I was a student again, I would love to come here just to do that. You know. Yeah. It's nice seeing you again. Yeah. Again, thank you for your <laughs> thank time. You. This thank is you like so a much. yeah, this is like a random encounter again. So I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm really happy I got to see you again. <laughs> thank you so much. Of course. Okay. All right. So Lily is on a little mission to ask their instructor if I can come in and talk to them. Okay, Lily said that their instructor is a little bit camera shy, so another student stepped yeah. up to the plate. <laughs> All right, what is your name? Uh, Watana. Watana. Yeah. And what are you studying here, Watana? Uh, robotic engineering. Robotic engineering. Yes. Wow, that's awesome. Why did you choose this institute? From my point of view, the, the best engineering school is here. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. That's my perspective. No, of course. Yeah. Um, I noticed on campus a lot of students speak English. Yes. How important would you say it's for a student to know English? Yes, really important because um, if you study something related to digital and uh, especially engineering, yeah. you need English to researching. Even you use AI, you need English to research that. Okay, okay, I see. Um, and then how about the campus life? Um, what do you like to do on your free time here in between classes? Yeah, there are a lot of activities like us. I come here, so we can access to the free internet. Oh, Wi-Fi, right? Isn't yeah. it? This room is free Wi-Fi. Oh, okay. I didn't. I didn't get to connect. But is it fast Wi-Fi? Is it okay? It's, it's perfect. Really good. Oh, okay. You know, I might actually come back here. I like to stream on my phone, so <laughs> you can try anytime. Okay. All right. Thank you. I'm gonna okay. do that. My my last question for you would be. What are your thoughts or what advice would you give to future students coming here? Be prepared, study, focus, and please don't forget to enjoy your life too. Wise As words. A child. <laughs>
wise words. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> thank you, Lily. You're number one. Look, guys, if you're on campus, say hi to Lily for me. She's, she's been great in Siem Reap and now in Phnom Penh. All right, thank you. Guys, I'm really honored that I can actually even come around here and take a video. These are the future engineers of this country and in some way, probably the future engineers of the world. So goodness knows what's going to happen in the next five years and it's going to be thanks to these students. All right, we're here with one of the instructors here. What is your name and what is your role? My name is Lei. I'm a lecturer at ITC. Understand. And were you a student at this university before? Yeah. Okay. And then how long have you been teaching here? I have been teaching here for five years. Five years? Yeah. What are students passionate about today? Uh, in this age, they are more passionate about the new technologies like AI and also uh, the modern technology and tools, etc. Yeah, I see, I see. Is there, um, is there any changes you noticed in the university in the last recent years? Uh, there are lots of changes in the university. Um, first of all is the facility. Yeah. And we have improved and modernized facility. And second is the, our curriculum. We try to revolutionize and modernize our curriculum to match the changes in the market need, mm -hmm. like the, the, the new demand about the new skills and so on. Yeah. And also we have more program like we have started a new program called AI and Cybersecurity, Software Engineering, Data Science yeah. in the last two years. Wow, that, that's so awesome to hear. Like, mm -hmm. There's a lot of opportunities for the students to use resources, right? Awesome, yes. awesome. And then I have a silly little question. What is your favorite Cambodian food? <laughs> My favorite Cambodian food is the uh, Sumla Koko. <laughs> Sumla Koko, oh wow, you're 100% Khmer. <laughs> and then my last question for you is, what advice would you give to a future student thinking about attending this university? Um, my uh, advice would be uh, try to seek for what you like and do best for what you love and enjoy your life. And well, then the last one is try to keep a good health. Okay, okay. awesome, That's awesome. Fun. No, that, great advice. I appreciate your time. Thank you so much. This is a great okay. institution and I hope you guys get to come visit one day. Okay. All right, y'all, this is where I'm going to end the video today. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you again to all the students and staff that spoke to me. I got to learn a lot about this institute. Hopefully, you all get the chance to visit here one day. Outside of that, please make sure you like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.